Right, this is the second part of the video, third part of the video. Uh, journey from the MOT place in Holloway Road, Camden Road, Holloway Road, Strike. Now I'm heading towards home now and, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, it's five mile journey back to home again in FM Castle. Right, this this time I'm taking Holloway Road. What am I talking about? Sorry, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not Holloway Road. I'm going to go through Caledonian Road and I'll be ending up in King Cross towards Farringdon Street, Farringdon Road, Bridge Street. Blackfair Bridge, Blackfair Road, St. George's Circus, cut through Lambeth Road, or possibly go through Eleven Castle Roundabout onto St. George's Road. Well, I'm going to take the back of Lambeth Road, cut through West Square, end up in Brook Drive, and near where I live. Right. Okay. So we've done all that. You know, I'm hoping like like this kind of video because at the moment I'm recording this on my Samsung Note Galaxy, Samsung Note 2 mobile phone which I had for about eight years now, still going strong. But, you know, I would love to get a SLR camera or a recording, top-notch recording equipment. But at the moment, financially tight, so I can't afford it. So, I'm sorry guys and girls, you have to put up with this. But in the future, I'm trying to be more professional, get a, get a wide angle, so whenever I record these drives, you can see much more better, much more in a wide angle, so you can literally see views better. Right, I would love to get a, a Sony RX100 Mark II camera or get the um, Canon EOS 80D. Now the, the Sony ones is about six hundred something brand new and the Canon sorry yeah Canon ones, you're looking about 800 or so with lens. Right, I'm passing the Holloway prison on my left hand side. This is a Caledonian road, it's another major road, and it's quite, uh, it's a quite lengthy road actually, believe it or not connects with Holloway on the north and also goes far as King Cross is this way. So this is a major road for this part of the the city. You know the important thing is I hope you like it. And if you do like it, if you don't comment if you comment, then I, I'm going to start making a few more. Oh, look at that bicycle, it just popped up from nowhere. So this is the problem in London when you're driving day t in daytime. You get bicycles popping up all over the place. So you have bicycle, you have traffic, you have pedestrians, you have everybody fighting for the same space. So it's, it's such a hard... You have to let's listen this way. You have to concentrate big time. I mean, 
really s now look at this guy he just popped up without thinking do you see that just because he drives a damn sh crappy old excuse my expression here damn expensive Porsche he thought he just can just without signal without waiting just come front of me there you go and that kind of thing you have to put out day in day out and sometimes you have to be really really good you know you gotta be in driving in London you have to be on, be on the ball believe me just that there and now this guy just turned right without stopping we just came from a, a side road without thinking just pop front of me as you can see there, there you go any other driver and he could have a collision there and then now now the thing is I've been driving in London for last almost 30 years now so you know not not as a cab driver 30 years but you know as a cabbie or as a private hired driver for the last three years well, most of the time I spend in a restaurant game so yeah it's a different story altogether so I am now I'm approaching King Cross so, sorry for the um, the light is such a Yeah, this. It's so cloudy out here. That's why you can't even see. It's like a dark night light here. What's going on? Yeah, the weather is cloudy and hazy sunshine, so it makes it like a. And um, obviously, my camera on that phone is not that good so it's picking up hazy sunshine or darkness going on I hope you're enjoying it anyway so now we're at the King Cross um, on the right hand side is the, the King Cross station from Caledonian Road I'm gonna turn into Pentable Road and do a right turn towards the this side of the city. Okay. Now this is uh, King Cross Road. Slightly verged to the right. I got a veer to the right. It's a ring road. In this part of the world, you have the Mount Pleasant Royal Mail Sorting Office still going strong. So this is a big operation here. On the left hand side, uh, Rosebury Avenue and Sadler's Well Theatre. And ahead of me, it's not far from here, you have the Smithfield Meat Market. When you're driving in London, you spend more time on a traffic jam and traffic lights than you do actually driving in daytime. So it's more time being spent on 
you know, traffic jams and traffic lights and giving away to people unnecessary stops. So it is annoying, but then one has to and one has to accept this kind of occupational hazard, I guess, when people jump in front of you and cyclists come in and people jumping and everybody is trying to get there. You're so busy, busy, busy. Everyone's busy. Now I'm in Farringdon Road. And the next stretch of the road will be Farringdon Street. And then the next bit will be Bridge Street. And on to Blackfair Bridge. Blackfriars Bridge. Along here years ago, there used to be monks, and if you ever come across white fries glasses, white fries glasses, check it out on internet online. You'll find uh, they used to be in this area, used to be famous for glass making. And years ago, when I, I got my eBay side of things, I used to sell white fries glasses. There was a famous designer called Ted Baxter and his designer absolutely, you know, world class. In the 60s, I think in the 60s he designed, used to design glasses using like a bark of a tree, bark tree type of thing. And I used to sell him a lot. So now, even now, you can go and check it out. I'll put a link to, at the bottom of the description. I do have an eBay store, and I do sell on the, online. So go and check it out. It's called Buy, Sell, Second Hand. If you're interested in buying things like trainers and all this kind of little stuff. So go and check me out. Buy, Sell, Second Hand. But as I said before, I used to sell a lot of, yeah, that kind of stuff, you know. Glasses and merino glasses, white fire glasses, pole pottery stuff. So I moved on from there because the thing was getting scarcer and scarcer to be at hold of. Right, so this is the area famous for, that's why you get the name, black fries. White fries, the monks. So this is the term they associate. So here there's a lot of work going on. They're building a new station here. Uh, I'm approaching it right now on the left hand side. I'm sure you, the angle camera cannot pick it up. Yeah, there we are. That's a new. Farringdon station they're building up. Yeah. Passing the old uh, Smithfield meat market on the left hand side. Yes, it's I don't know what's happening to the future of that place. Probably soon developers will be taking over that. Converted into, I guess, more of high tech flats and things like that. Yeah. So, ahead of us, on top of this, as you can see, is uh, Holborn Viaduct, the bridge. Yeah, so that links in with the city on top of that. Around here, on the right hand side, you have the 
the Goldman Sachs development going on and you have the headquarters of Goldman Sachs and Duluth and all the other lot, the big big players it's called Stonecutter Street and that's where they're based down there St. Bryce Street yeah and I'm heading towards now Ludgate Circus and on the right hand side is Flea Street Yeah, the Flea Street being famous for the the newspaper revelation, you know, a lot of years ago all the tabloids in this country used to be based, most of them here in Flea Street. But over these years, you know, decline of paper and things like that, so they moved on from there, so most of the journalism and everything used to be based on Flea Street. Most of the time it starts, stop, starts, stop, and that's the, the reality of driving in London. Right, so now I'm almost near the Blackfriars Bridge, Blackfriars Bridge. On the corner there's the Black Fair, Black Fire Station. Uh, occasionally you get to see little gems. You know, sometime you look around London and you find these small places or the shops they've been selling for donkey's years. And you know, you're looking at the front, shop front, it's, it's literally breathtaking scenery, the, the, the Victorian style of design of the shopfronts. And we are we're on top of, now we are on Blackfriar Bridge, in front of that new kind of a figurey looking glass building popping up, it's called Number One Blackfriars, I think. Yeah, it's supposed to look like a, a a woman sort of design, figure of a, a lady or a woman. Now this side of the the bank of this side of the bridge is where on the right hand side it's not far where the uh, London Eye is and Waterloo and National Theatre and everything happens down there. All the entertainments going on, especially in the summer. Right, I'm now on Blackfriars Road, Blackfriars Road. Nothing much exciting here except all these big, big expensive apartments going up all over the place around here as well. So literally the centre of London is going through a, a transformation of um, regeneration, you know, all these big big companies are taking over whatever they can get hold of the land and building on it. And it seems um, it's very popular because the the house prices is absolutely crazy. You know, the flats around here going for a million, million, half, two million, three million pound, penthouses, which is ridiculous. So most of the, the flats are, are literally for renting out. You know, not many people can afford to own their own flats. So how are you going to get the mortgage of a um, couple of million pounds? 
this. You're, a, you're born into wealth. There's no way you can buy these flats. So chance of is renting it out. And rent is not cheap, by the way. Right, we're almost near St. George's Circus. I'm on the London Road, so I'm going to avoid the traffic and I'm going to take the right turn, cut through here. Because there's always a jam, the London Road. Now, the thing is, now it's 3.30, just over 3.30 in the afternoon. Just after 3.30, and the school, I've got a couple of local school here, and you can imagine the kids in the road now, so I have to be even more careful when I'm driving now here. So I'm just cutting back. There's a road you can cut back to Garden Road. Cut from London Road, turn right into Garden Road, then you gotta do a right again into St. Joseph's Road.